Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are back in the state of New York and things are looking a little bit differently than they did last time we left off. So I wanted to make this video for a bit of an update just to warn you guys about a mistake I made during the video, uh, actually during the purchasing of the equipment so you guys don't make the same mistake. So as you can see here, all the solar panels have uh, come down off the rack. We've added on to the rack a little bit since then, but it's now empty. So um, a couple months ago, I put together the order. I placed the order for the mini splits, the solar panels. We picked out the Canadian solar 400 watt panels. They were on sale, pretty good price. They're a nice panel. I've had really good luck with my other Canadian solar panels. So we went with them, you know, check the wattage, check the voltage, everything was gonna work. Um, and just after I posted that video, I got an email once I got back home from the customer service inbox at Signature Solar, not even from the rep I normally deal with. Um, saying that unfortunately the solar panels were not compatible with the mini splits. So I looked into it, I thought that's weird, you know, I checked everything I thought I had to check, uh, but there was one thing that I overlooked. So these 400 watt Canadian solar panels actually have a short circuit current or a maximum current of 13.85 amps, which if you look on the mini split, that exceeds the maximum rating of 12 amps on the outdoor unit. So they are actually too powerful for the outdoor unit and there's a chance that they could blow the MPPT if you know it was under a really high load there was really good sun conditions it may may have never been an issue but Signature Solar reached out and let me know that they were not compatible now this was really my fault this was my doing I didn't uh, double check that number but since I put the order together with a rep on the phone told them what I was going to do um, they missed it too they kind of let it slide so they were totally willing to replace all the solar panels for me. Um, they're having a, a new skid shipped up to replace these ones just because they missed it as well. Um, I feel like it was my fault. I think most companies would have probably put that on the buyer, but Signature stepped up big and, and offered to replace all the panels. So I got to give a big shout out to them. I don't honestly think it's because this is going on YouTube because it wasn't sent to me by you know my normal contact. It was just right out of the customer service inbox letting me know that these were not compatible. So um, I have a new skid coming. I'll probably do a bit of an update video for you, show you the new panels. They are the SEG bifacials, so the uh, maximum amperage is below the rated current input for the mini split. Everything should be good to go. But uh, yeah, I was planning on replacing mine as well on the pergola, my six 230 watt Canadian solar panels. So that's probably not going to happen for a little while. I'm going to have to get a couple new, new SEG panels from New York the next time I'm there. So uh, yeah, just don't make the same mistake I did. Once again, big thanks to Signature Solar for not only catching it, but for really stepping up, offering to replace those panels, and uh, overall really taking care of their customers.